Today we're going to show you how to print and cut photographic images using Graphtex Cutting Master plugin for Illustrator or CorelDRAW. The things you will need are Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator or CorelDRAW, an inkjet printer or laser copier, your printable media, and a Graphtec cutter, a CE5000 model or higher. Step one is to create a clipping path around the part of the photo that you want to cut. In Photoshop, we use the pen tool to create our path. Step three is to create a selection from your path and fill it with a solid color on a second layer. You should now have a graphic layer and a cut layer. Now you're going to save each layer out as a separate image. You will now have two files, a graphic file and a cut file. Place both of your graphic and cut images into Adobe Illustrator using two separate layers. Now you will need to select the solid color layer and click on the image. You will then need to click on the Live Trace button to turn the solid color into a vector path. Now, using your direct selection tool, click on the background box and delete it. This will leave only the path around the object that you're wanting to cut. Now you will need to turn off your cut layer and just keep your graphic layer turned on. Print only the graphic layer to your printer. Now what we're going to do is take our pre-printed image that we've printed on our Coastal Inkjet Opaque Transfer Paper and load it into our vinyl cutter. First thing you're going to do is lower your paper lever. 
You're going to load your image into your cutter, keeping your pinch rollers on the outside of your printed registration marks. We're going to select roll one as our paper source, hit enter, and the cutter is going to read the width of our paper. Now we're going to press our position buttons to move the cutting head just so that the blade is right on the inside of the lower right registration mark. Now you will need to turn off your graphic layer and turn on your cut layer. Send the cut layer to your cutter using Graphtech's Cutting Master 2 plugin. Now the cutter's optical eye will read all four of the registration marks. Now that the cutter has contour cut our image, we need to weed it. So take your weeding tool, peel up the edge, and there you have your image. Now we're going to mask our image using Coastal's HTM1 mask and a squeegee. Feeling in a diagonal motion, and as you can see, your image is releasing with your mask. If you see any area that's not completely releasing, take your squeegee and just run right over that area one more time. And there's your image, ready to be applied to whatever item you're putting it on.